I've just come up with the most delicious crepe recipe. I've got my standard crepe recipe that I'm going to share with you again. But what makes this really special is the filling, which is a delicious salted butter and dolce de leche filling. It's also got chocolate and banana in it. It's so good. Everyone is going to love this. So let's start with our basic crepe batter. I've got some plain flour in a bowl. To this, I'll add a few tablespoons of sugar, a small pinch of salt, and just with your whisk, just incorporate that together and make a well in the centre. Now we're going to crack our eggs in the middle, so I need three eggs for my recipe. And the best thing about a crepe mixture is you can make it the day ahead. In fact, if you do that, they'll taste even better and they'll also hold their shape even better too. So once you've added your eggs, break up the eggs and slowly bring in the sides. Now once it starts to thicken up, we can slowly add our milk. Now, I always like to add a little extra milk to my recipe because once this batter sits for a while, it does thicken up. You want this to be the consistency of pouring cream, so it should be quite thin. Very different to a pancake batter, which is quite thick. So I'll continue incorporating this little by little. Okay, now let's have a look at this consistency. See how there's no lumps whatsoever? That's what we're after. A little bit more milk and that's what you leave for later on. So this gets covered with a little bit of cling film. Pop that in the fridge for an hour, or like I said, even better, overnight. And then the next day, add this milk because it does thicken up. So let's have a look at a mixture that I've pre-made. And we'll see how much it thickens up. See how that thickens up significantly? So this is when I add another splash of my milk. And that's ready to go. So before we start to form our crepes, let's get on to our salted butter, banana and dolce di leche mixture. In a food processor, I'm going to add one block 250 grams of good quality salted butter. This is 100% Australian owned. That's why I love using them. It's also certified organic and grass fed. And look at that deep colour. So I like it to be salted because you're going to really taste this throughout it. You want to balance the sweetness of the bananas and the dolce di leche with the saltiness of the butter. So I'll just break this out my fingers and look how soft it is. That's what you want. So bring this out the night before or if it's a hot day, an hour or two before you start blending it. To this we're going to add one can of dolce di leche. Now what is this? Well this is condensed milk. That's all it is. I've taken off the label and I've placed this into a large pot of water. Now you really need to submerge it in the water because what you're going to do is boil this for at least two to three hours. And you do need to replenish the water because it does evaporate. Da, 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 da. We have caramel. It is such a wonderful thing to do. You just need to make sure you're watching it to replenish that water over and over again. You can also speed up this process by cooking it in a pressure cooker. And if you don't want to do it at all, that's totally fine. You can actually buy this. All your supermarkets will have this delicious caramel or dolce di leche as it's called. All right, so I'll add that. I'll also add about 50 grams of chocolate. I'm using some dark chocolate for my recipe. I'll need about half of this. So cut that in half, so about 50 grams. And just with a serrated knife, we're just going to roughly chop it because most of the chopping is going to happen in the food processor. So I'll just cut that up like that. In it goes. And I'm going to start blending this. If you like, you could add a little bit more salt. It's up to you. I'm going to pulse this a few times until it's well incorporated. Then I'll add the banana. You want to leave that to the last minute so we still have chunks of banana throughout the salted butter. Oh. Have a look at that. The speckles of chocolate throughout that. Now for the banana. So just one ripe banana. And we just want to roughly chop this. I'm just adding one, but you can add two if you want more of a dominant banana flavour. Okay. In with the banana. And then one to two more pulses and it's ready. Okay. That can just sit there while we get on to our crepes. So I'll be using some unsalted butter when I cook my crepes. I love the flavour of the butter when cooking the crepes. It also gives it a really lovely caramelised finish. So a little knob of butter. 
into a pan, we'll turn that on. You don't want it to be too hot because it will burn the butter. We just want that on a medium heat. And once it starts to melt and become bubbly like that, we can add our batter. And we'll pour that in the center and swirl the pan around. So I can see that I might need just a little bit more. Keep swirling. And you want to achieve a really thin crepe. And you do that by just continually swirling all around the side of the pan. And once it sets, leave it alone, okay? We want to leave that for about one minute or until it completely dries up onto the surface. And once you can jiggle that crepe and it becomes slightly caramelized on the bottom, then we can flip it and cook it for another minute. So I'm gonna make a few of these. I'll make about four and then we can start filling them with that delicious salted butter. All right, crepes are ready. We'll take the last one out of the pan and to assemble. So we'll work with one crepe at a time. We'll place that onto our board and our delicious butter here. I'm gonna grab a generous spoonful of it. <sighs> Look how soft and gooey it is. Straight into the center. And because the crepes are still hot, it's just gonna slowly melt. Now, if you wanted to make this salted butter earlier, you can absolutely do that. Pop it into the fridge in an airtight container. When you do wanna use it, bring it out of the fridge at least an hour before serving it, just so it softens up like this again. Okay, so I just like to serve this the traditional way. We're just gonna fold it up like so onto our plate and just let that sit there for a moment so that butter melts even further. And I've got a few more bananas, so let's cut one open just for a garnish. This is just not really essential, but if you wanna make it look extra special for somebody, I'd recommend slicing the banana on an angle. Just really thin slices and some chocolate, a little bit of leftover dark chocolate. Cut that in half. And then some little bits of chocolate. We'll place the bananas on top. Extra chocolate. That is a pretty easy dessert to put together. The best thing about this is you take this to the table or you make it for your loved one and don't tell them what's inside and then they have a bite and it's just like magic. Salted butter, banana, chocolate and dolce di leche. All right, better have a taste. I'll cut this in half. Ooh. Look at that all of that delicious salted butter in the center. Mm. That is quite simply perfection. Mm.